Got it. All right. Uh, <clears throat> how's it going, everybody over at Winterfest? It's your boy Josh, and uh, I'm here, and I'm here with my man Gokinson over here, Hello. Uh, assisting me with. And today for the and for this panel, we got some of the cast members. Well, well, some of the main people slash cast members. I know words, I swear, from Adrenaline Dumps, <laughs> and uh, if, feel free to introduce yourselves. Uh, I am Landy. I uh, co-created the channel, and for a while I was the lead video editor. Uh, I voice Sonic. For a while I was voicing Knuckles, and I voice Orvat. And I also voice Ruff the Skunk. Um, uh, okay, I guess I get, do I go next? Uh, sure. Whichever one... Feel free, since you already the worst. All right. Uh, anyway, uh, hello. I am hyper voice acting, or Steven, whichever you have more of a preference towards. Um, I'm one of the uh, audio mixers and video editors for Adrenaline Dubs, and I voice uh, a handful of characters. Uh, for the main IDW series, I voice Big, Zavok, and Zik. Uh, for the Archie stuff, I voice Rotor and Shadow. And I also just kind of like fill in on like uh, smaller roles here and there whenever needed. Uh, uh, hey everyone, um, I'm Ryan. I am uh, also one of the co-creators of Adrenaline Dubs. I um, I voice some characters in the IDW series like Tails, Amy, Cream, and Charmy. Uh, I also help out with video editing. Right now, I'm working on the main series. Of IDW, I also work on other stuff for the channel, and yeah. So, Tech, would you like to introduce yourself too? Yeah, hey everybody, I'm Techno Cinema. Um, I do the music for the Adrenaline Dubs, mainly the IDW um, comic dubs. I also do some sound design, and uh, I voice Omega. All right. So, <clears throat> all right. I guess. Uh... For the sake of time, I guess to go ahead and start opening up the floor for um for questions. So, you know, anybody that's here, feel free to uh raise your hand to be called upon. If you're guarantee that we'll be able to get everybody, in which in which case, um we have a we have if you go to the panel room B text room, we have a thread for questions for your text questions for just in case either you can't speak or you know, you're unable to uh, have your question asked, just make sure to ping me or Gokin and we'll do our best to answer it. But anyways, feel free to get your hands raised and I'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and get the first person up here. Uh, a frosty main can't read the rest of it, but I, but I recognize the name uh, <laughs> pop up. Howdy. Hello. Hey there. Hello, can you guys hear me? Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh my gosh, thank God. Finally, oh. first try too. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Discord has been having this weird thing with me where my microphone just craps out before I even get on to talk. So it just, I'm, I'm so happy. It, it's something so small, but it makes me so happy. Yeah, Discord be ratchet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, anyways, hi guys. Hey. Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Yeah, uh, nice to be seeing you all. Landy, Steve, nice to be uh, talking with you guys. Pleasure, mm -hmm. pleasure. Uh, <clears throat> Tech, Ryan, it's uh, nice to see you guys again. I haven't seen you since Revolution. I was the Charmy B that you guys met. Yeah, I remember. Your costume oh, yeah. was really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, again, awesome to be here. Well, <clears throat> uh, my question was to ask you guys, uh, you guys do... Well, first of all, you guys do an amazing job when uh, dubbing the IDW comics, and uh, you guys have done like, like just the vast majority of them all. You guys have done the annuals um, and uh, the main series, and I know you guys are. I've I've been. Uh, I'm assuming that you guys might do the free comic book uh, day story as well, the one with uh, Team Sonic. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. uh, but my question is to ask you guys. <coughs> The IDW comics are extensive, but which ones do you happen to not like? Like, what issues do you guys say are probably at the 
bottom of your tier list. Hmm. Hmm. I don't really hmm. like to pick uh, negative favorites myself, but uh, the current few arcs haven't really been intriguing me as much as the previous stuff, I guess I can say. I mean, considering I still like the comics, I think, like, least favorite is still, like, pretty pretty generous. It's, the, the bar is still relatively, like, up there. So, I mean, I don't know. I'd have to agree. Like, I don't know if I have a particularly, like, unfavorite out of the lot of them. Like, there are definitely some I prefer over others, but I don't think I've, as of yet anyway, came across, like, a particularly bad issue. Yeah, I have to floor's, agree with that. Floor's pretty, floor's pretty high, honestly, with IDW. At, at worst, you just get, like, a story that's kind of, like, nothing. But that's still, you know, st it's still, like, better than just a story being horrible, I guess. Yeah, because, like, I'm, I'm still curious as to, like, where the direction of the story is going to take. <laughs> It'll probably like, it, be, it's, like, it's, the Metal Virus, where... I did, I wasn't too pulled into it until I until I started actually working on the dubs for it. <coughs> and that was when I was like, "Oh, yeah, this is actually really captivating when I'm able to like assemble the story in a way that I don't know. I guess I'm just not a comic book guy per se, which is weird because I, you know, make these dubs, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, in a different medium it's a little more easy to digest for me, I guess. Yeah. For sure, because, yeah, I I can agree that, like, there's a difference between, like, reading the comic and then uh, making a comic dub. Because I feel like there's, like, a like a new level of appreciation for the story when you're working on it and bringing it to life, basically, with voices, music, sound effects, etc. Yeah. Does that answer your question, Frosty? Oh, well, I was wondering if uh, Tech had anything to say. I am spacing out. I'm so sorry. It's all good. That happens. <laughs> uh, well, um, what, what was your what was your? I'm sorry. What was the question again? Uh, uh, I was at. I uh, uh, wanted to ask you guys if you happen to have a uh, a, a not so favorite IDW issue. Just because, uh, yeah, just the, I really honestly, I really wouldn't say that I have a least favorite issue. It, it kind of all blends together pretty okay for me. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I was just curious because of how many there are nowadays, especially since now we've gotten past issue fifty so far. Mm -hmm. So, just figured I'd be curious to ask something like that. But uh, thank you, anyways. Alrighty, all right. Thank, thank, thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you very much. You enjoy the rest of your. Thank you very much, Frosty. Uh, not not the snowman. That was a lame joke. <laughs> yeah. uh, for... <laughs> uh, and with and with happy yep. birthday, happy birthday. Anyway, uh, <laughs> oh, so yes, I guess I guess so. Uh, from from when I'm choosing, guess I'm choosing the question next. So maybe I'm going to go, I guess I'm going to go through the questions on text. So there's one question that is asked by MB the sheep. If you could go back to the start of your VC work and give yourself one piece of advice, what would you say in regards to voice acting? Mm. Uh, um, I would say to myself, be nicer to people and get further away from your dang microphone. <laughs> that, that, oh, the mood. <laughs> the, cur the curse of me having a dynamic mic. Uh, <laughs> or, you know, turn down the mic again in the Windows settings. <laughs> I'm, I'm usually pretty, I've, I've always been pretty good about mic gain. Uh, I have a knob on my audio interface, so that's never really been a major issue, but there's a, <coughs> excuse me. Oh, careful. There's a lot of, um, IDW issues where I am way too close to my microphone and like every every time like there's something that blows air into the mic it's just it's terrible uh the I guess that was uh I think that was I think that was I mean I think that question was meant to be for every for everybody but that's I mean that's uh I'm, well, I'm I, pretty, I, yeah. I, I don't I don't really voice act as a you know a profession 
Yeah, mine is more in the music and sound design right. category, but yeah, that's yeah. fair. Fair point. I guess if anybody else wants to throw something in, feel free. Yeah, like, um, hey, I would you, say, you yeah, I, I, <laughs> I would say, don't be afraid to take chances. Uh, mm -hmm. cause like something that I struggle with is like when like when I audition for like characters or whatever, and like I see like like a character, it's like oh, like oh, I don't know if I can voice this character. Like I don't think I'm right for that character. It's like I should just go ahead and take that chance because you never know, like. What the director is looking for in a voice. Right. Um, yeah. hmm? I'll go on. Um, I would say don't take criticism too seriously. Because, like, especially early on, I know it can be very easy to be discouraged. But instead of just seeing that as, like, a complete turnoff, just use it as, like, a footnote of, like, okay, this is what I need to fix if I want to get better at my craft. Uh, so I also wanted to give one slip thing based on that question. So yeah, since since I'm currently hosting an audio drama and Landy's also part of this too, so I would just say uh, make make sure that your impression is basically that you feel comfortable with the most. Well, as long so yeah. So I would also say I would prefer a good quality microphone. So yeah. Uh, so like as long as you have the ability to voice that that's really good it's like you know we're all not perfect so what i would say is always be confident of what you're doing and and if you really like to feel and choose the character that you feel comfortable with the most that you want to you want to voice over so that's what i want to say all righty uh i guess a very solid advice yes yeah. hey. I'd agree with that. That somebody with their loud engine outside my apartment apparently wants me to pick the next person. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I know I'm not funny. Anyway, I'm gonna get. Uh, ooh, uh, let's see here. Uh, ooh, I see quite a couple familiar faces up in here. Uh, I guess I will. I will go ahead and get Corey up in here. Alrighty. Hi. Hi, Corey. Hello, Hello friends. Hello. How are you? Hey, Corey. Doing good. Hey. Yourself? Again. Awesome. Good, good. Great. Uh, I just have one really cool question. I was thinking about it while everyone was just kind of talking away. I was. My question is, what was the most difficult issue to dub, either in the Archie or the IDW issues, that challenged you guys a lot, but it came out great? Um, For me... Um, I've talked about this before, and I'm sure it'll surprise some people, but anytime I have to voice Zavok, because for, out of all the characters that I've voiced, he proved to be surprisingly difficult, mostly mostly in terms of, like, having to, like, because, you know, he has, like, a very deep, almost kind of bassy voice, trying to keep that level of deepness and bassness, like, consistent throughout my recordings was a lot more, was a lot more difficult than I was expecting it to be. Okay. Sorry, what was the question in full again? I was I had to respond to something else. Oh, the the question is, uh, what was the most difficult issue to dub, either Archie or IDW, that was hard, but you still enjoyed it nonetheless? Oh man, that is a tough one. Uh, I don't know. I feel like um, I feel like I tend to breeze through a lot of voice recordings, but I also do a ton of like re-records. I don't know. I guess in the moment, I don't really, I never would really notice anything up with my recording. And then when I go back, like months later, I'd be like, eh. so I'd re-record it. Uh, I can't say I've ever, ever really faced a major challenge. Well, actually, in some of the upcoming issues with Ruff, I've had some issues with my breathing and stuff because I'm re still recovering from whatever nasty crap hit me. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and that's proven pretty difficult. I had to like wait really long before I could actually properly laugh as rough or even just talk as him because it was a real throat ripper. I got some lines for Scourge for something the other uh, the other day and I wanted to do some rough stuff that I needed to finish up but I couldn't because just mm -hmm. you can't do that back to back. I mean, I can't do that back to back anymore. So that's kind of a pain. 
Mm. Huh? Um, I think for me, uh, dubbing issue 21 was a little hard. Because I think that's when the Tails gets a little, um, a little more emotional than usual. Because, like, he's, like, a, he's, like, tearing up. Because, like, he finally has, like, the antidote. But then it's, like, all gone. So I had to re-record for that to, like, really, like, get into, like, the emotion that he's experiencing. Okay. <clears throat> Alrighty. I'd like to think I helped out a little bit with that. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So does that answer your question, Corey? Yeah, it definitely does. Thank, Thank you. And no problem. Thank you so much. And have a wonderful rest of your con. Thank you. Yeah. You guys as well. Absolutely. Thank you for mm -hmm. coming up. Hi, Corey. <laughs> All right. So you want to pick? You want to pick the next person, Gogan? Yes, I'll be doing that. So yeah. Uh, so let me guess. We only have like a few, few rate and raise. So let's just yeah. say, I'm gonna call up Rockstar. Yeah, come on up. Sure. Come on right. up, Rockstar of the okay. 75th variety. <laughs> hey. Hi. Hey. Howdy. How's it going, hey, Rockstar? Hey. Uh, it's, it's going fine. Uh, my, my my heart's thumping because I'm 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 really nervous right now. <laughs> I'm nervous. Oh. I'm sorry. Take a deep well, breath. We're just we're, we're here for you. Yeah, we're just regular okay. people like you. True. Okay, regular okay. So, so let me let me just say this. Uh, uh, Ryan, Landy, Techno Cinema, nice to meet all three of you. No, Steve. Huh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> what? what, what after I reassured you like that. I, 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 this man, Top Liberty. Hey, the hey, hey, call, call, call me. Let's. Well, I'm, 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 I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, I, I would say nice to meet Hyper, but we kind of. But, but, but we, we kind of talked to each other before, so I don't know. Hmm. Still, the sentiment could have been appreciated. No, it's, it's, all, it's all good. I was, I was hi, bro. I'm yeah, sorry. Really. Listen, it's good, it's no, good to see you. How about that? No, that you're better? fine. You're fine. <laughs> I'm okay. Too, don't worry. Anyway. And, and, anyway, I better stop wasting time now. Um, my, 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 my question, Um, I, I heard I heard. Oh, the most difficult uh, a comic to dub, but what was your most favorite comic to dub? If this um, hasn't been answered. Uh, I keep forgetting which issue it is, but uh, the one with um, Neo and Sonic fighting. I think that was, uh, what was it, seven? Issue seven. Yeah, yeah seven. Oh, my God. I I'd say my 17, and I was like, that's not it. <laughs> um, I would say my favorite to record yeah. and also my favorite to like do mixing for um, <laughs> helping uh, helping Ryan with putting the uh, Bigs Big Adventure dub together. That one's very good. Yeah, yeah. that was a fun one. Oh yeah, that's when that big big adventure. That just pretty much makes us think about the, how how Sonic Frontiers would look like. Yeah, through the eyes <laughs> of Big, and yeah. like like it was really fun recording all that dialogue as Big. Like particularly the bits at the end where he gets a bit more emotional, and it was it was also fun just uh, rearranging all the audio together for it, including like certain little callbacks that you can listen to here and there. Yeah. Um, I think my Metal favorite virus that I've the banjo. <laughs> <laughs> I think my favorite that I've dubbed is, is uh issue thirteen, where especially when uh Sonic and Tails do the, like the little rhyme. It's all it's always my favorite. It makes me so happy just watching it. Yeah, yeah I'm quite fond of any issue that has like a like huge climactic moments. Like uh mm -hmm. practically like everything in all or nothing was an absolute joy to not only record for it, but just assemble and edit. Cause that was yes. like my, that was my first IDW issue in a very long time. Um, that I was actually like, uh, the main editor for. So it was great to, uh, get back into that and just pull out like every trick in the book and just go crazy with the editing and just the voice effects too. Right. Does that uh properly answer your question? Uh, uh, yes, it does. But just 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 one thing, I I gotta say, you you uh, uh, you're like uh, all all your dubs are like freaking amazing. You you put much hard hard work into it, and big respect. I love it. Appreciate it very much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. No Thank problem. you, Rockstar. No problem. See you guys later. Bye. Coming up. I make sure uh other text. <laughs> 
ch- com- call uh, text questions yet, but <laughs> I'll go ahead and uh, get some of the other. I'll go ahead and call it the next person. Uh, get my man Noah up in here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Noah! Hi, Hi guys. I know everyone here. Part of the crew, too. Your kid is here. <laughs> your kid has arrived. Yes, your kid has arrived. So, I guess uh, I'll see my question now. So, my question goes with techno. So, I have to say, you dub, you pretty much music composed pretty much the IDW and Archie. What has to be your favorite uh, music you ever composed? Uh, that is that is tough. There's at this point there are so many. Um, but if I um, I feel like it would be a tie between "Tell the Others I'm Sorry" from issue twenty four mm-hmm. and. Uh, ready to save the world. Yeah. I feel like that one was where the adrenaline just spiked. <laughs> no mm. pun intended. Mm. <laughs> um, but I also got to, you know, I got to, I also really liked doing, uh, when I was doing the Tangle and Whisper uh, soundtracks, I had a really fun time with uh, Whisper's theme. So yeah, that was yeah. yeah that was, awesome. was a really fun one. Awesome. Does that uh probably answer your question, Noah? Yeah, it does. Um, I would have to say my favorite you you done. I like I like the music you you did with Archie. Like you use some Sonic Advance and Sonic Battle inspirations. Oh yeah. Yeah, those were really good. There's advanced inspiration in all in both. Adrenaline or both uh, Archie and IDW. Yeah, that was pretty much my childhood. So, <laughs> yeah, I have to agree. Like he te- techno cinema he has a really good taste in bringing that, bringing back nostalgic music from the past and make it and make it into a big remaster. So yeah, and, I yeah. Will. 100%. I 100% agree with that. I was listening. I was just listening to his new album before the con started. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you guys so Especially much. Especially the imposter syndrome. He's yes. job with a song. I can't wait until we're dubbing those. Yes. So hyped for that. Okay. <laughs> all right. Thank you I think very much all. for the question. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Thanks for coming by again, Noah. Yeah, no problem. All right. See you guys. See you, man. See you, See you. Take it easy. All right. I guess. Uh, uh, Goken, you want to call it the next person? Absolutely. So yeah, we only have four people raising their hands. So yeah, let me just see. It's a really, it's really hard to choose now. But you know what? Why, why don't I just call out Trey Thornton nineteen? Come on up. Yeah. Welcome. Hello, Thor- Hello. Hello, Trey. How's it going? You, you mute. There we go. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, yeah. Um. Hey, uh, hey, I'm doing good. Say so it's. It's a great pleasure meeting you all. Pleasure meeting you. You too. Yeah. So, um, my question is, um, how's it go with the I do I do W comics? So, I think, uh, I think uh, there's something I mean, on your end. It's kind of hard to keep track of what you're saying. Oh, sorry. Okay. It's um, my question is uh, for the IDW Sonic Comics has to go with the issue 26 through 29. What? Well, what's the question exactly? About the issue of 26 through 29 with the Metal Virus. Are Are you asking what it was like, like to uh, create that? Yeah, with the dubs. <laughs> um, so long. I. <laughs> I started that while um, <laughs> Ryan was already working on their stuff, and that was important because that meant that it was only about a month since issue 25 that uh, people had to wait for the release, which was good, I would say. 
Every, I think a lot of people probably thought, whoa, you just did four issues in one month? No, I had it. I, I was working on it for like <laughs> at least not like at least like uh, not nine, like seven months, I think, from that point. <laughs> Something like um, that. Yeah. So that was interesting. I was able to just kind of chip away at that while we were working on other videos at the time, which was really, really useful. Um, lots of fun. Uh, like I said before, it was great to just be back in the editing chair and just uh, <coughs> pull every trick in the editing book. Since, um, you know, the stuff Ryan had to tackle was a little less insane um, in terms of the stuff that happens within the comic. So uh, then when I got to All or Nothing, I was like looking at it like a big old buffet. And I was like, oh boy, I, I, I can use this effect here and I can use this type of effect here. And just everything. It's, I, I was just having a field day. I was like a kid in a playground. So it was fun. I uh, can't speak to the experience that everybody else had, though. Um I'm sure that they all have their own unique experiences with recording and stuff and pitching in in their own ways. So if you'd like to, if the rest of you guys would like to talk about that, then that would be appreciated too. Yeah. Working on 26 through 29 was very unique because three of the four characters that I voice appear <laughs> in those issues. And then you got, I think it was like issue 27 where it's just like back to back Amy tails and cream. So, like, I had so much work to do for that, but it was a lot of fun. I really loved recording uh, the Amy and Tails uh, interactions when they're fighting Zom Mom. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, of course, the, the emotional scene with uh, Cream. That was very fun. <laughs> I love breaking hearts. <laughs> yeah. That's the spirit. I think text input here would also be really, really... Uh... Really fun to hear about uh, just working on the score for that video. I had to get a real early start on that, I think. Yeah. Um, the first thing I worked on was Ready to Save the World. Um, <laughs> and uh, I went in... Uh, I went in expecting... I went in expecting I would have help. Um, but that help did not come through. So... It, um, I ended up having to score thirty the entire like thirty plus minutes. I think I but I I had a really I had a really fun time with it. I had a really you know I really can't form words well because of because of sick, but uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, originally, um and this is mentioned in the uh comments uh pinned comment on the video originally we wanted to reach out to a musician named uh sonic guitars and uh for those who don't know of him he does like super accurate like jun sonoi style guitars and he like puts them over like existing songs from the sonic series that don't really have those types of guitars he does a super good job with it originally we he were does. gonna try and reach out to him for uh parts of the score for all or nothing uh but unfortunately uh, sketch. I don't know the full gist, but uh, from what I understand, scheduling issues kind of got in the way, and uh, yeah, that kind of prevented the collab from being seen through. Thankfully, we did get to use some stuff from uh, Silent Dreams in the Chase, and some of that stuff featured Sonic guitars, so that was cool. Uh, hopefully, we can collaborate with more musicians like that in the future to fill some gaps that you know, so that Danny doesn't break his back. <laughs> be especially preferred. with archie archie kind of complicated things because like because because archie has like a separate a very separate team and it doesn't usually get in the way of video production but then danny's scoring both so that was kind of an issue danny was usually able to pull through really well but um you know it, it was still just we were just looking at him and it was like man he is visibly in pain trying to do a uh, entire scores for both these soundtracks so we are My, looking into trying to split up that workload and uh extend the sound team so that's with my be. my work as matter cell sort of sort of became a full-time or part-time gig yeah um and then yeah another project ended that i'm really glad ended but um that was a load up that like that work that work was taken off my back, so. 
Um, and then, yeah, commissions abound. <laughs> yeah, all or nothing, fun stuff. Probably my absolute... Honestly, that's probably my absolute favorite uh, comic dub to have worked on. Just because of how much yes. crazy crap go- goes into it. Mm-hmm. I never thought about yeah. it before, honestly. That all the little that editing did. nuances you guys did, it was incredible. Oh, uh, yeah, it was it was super fun. Yeah. And I hope that answers your question, Trey. Problem. And I'm glad that all of you did a great job. I appreciate it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very no. much, Trey. No problem. Thank you for coming on. No problem, Josh. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah, Josh, would you like to start choosing the next person, or if there's any text questions, you want to read it? I'll, uh, yeah, sure. I'll, I'm going to double check that real quick for you. Um, done yet, so I'll go ahead and go check the hands raised. Uh, uh, go ahead and call up. Hatmaster seven seven seven. That's a lot of hat masters. Uh, come on up. <laughs> Hello, I'm the seven hundred and seventy seventh hat master. All the others are dead. Yeah, we'll oh. you. you didn't kill them, did, did you? you? Did you kill them? <laughs> now I'm I'm, them? I'm just one in the line of many. She's like, don't be so daft. Not all of them. <laughs> Not <laughs> all of them are dead. Just most of them. He wouldn't confess it. No. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Maybe. No. But how's it going? I know okay. I know absolutely none of you. I'm repeating the same joke from the last con. <laughs> hey. I respect the honesty. Uh, t- <laughs> yeah, but hello. I hope all y'all are having a good day, or whatever time it is for most of you, because it's practically night for me. Um. So I did have... Uh, Two questions. Uh, I couldn't um, really and, choose um, one. Just one more. Yeah, we need to do one, be, just so that you know every, so every the audience can have a chance to. Yeah, no, I, 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 I flipped the coin earlier. It's fine. Um, yeah, yeah. Question, you can come I, in. Well, sorry for interrupting. I was gonna mention like if you if you want to throw in the second if we run out of people if we run out of people and you want to throw in that second question afterwards, feel free. But yeah, definitely has to be one just for the sake of time. Yeah, potentially. But yeah, no. The one question I want to ask, and I wasn't going to ask this, ask this initially, but my other one is kind of garbage. So my question is, what is I, I guess to the three voice actors here, and may, may, maybe Tech if he wants to, you know, kind of throw his two cents in, is what is one role that you've done, you know, throughout your career for voice acting that you are personally not proud of, like either like how you performed it, like. Maybe the circumstance of how you got that role, or just like a- a- anything at all. If, if you're, you know, inclined to share, like what is what is one one role you're not too proud of, and you wish you could go back? Hmm. I don't personally have any of those. Hmm. Um, if I had one, it's not coming to mind to me at the moment. Hmm. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I can't think of anything. <laughs> I love voicing all the characters yeah, usually, that I do. Usually, if um, usually if I get a get the feeling that I'm not going to enjoy a role, I just don't take it. <clears throat> yeah, that's fair. I guess at this point, I'm at a point where um, Knuckles is really hard for me to do. So I guess technically that, <laughs> but I still really enjoyed. <laughs> I enjoy voicing Knuckles. It's just getting harder for me. Um, so I don't know Sorry. if I count that. Sorry, I, I just realized whenever you speak on Discord, your your avatar just flaps its little beak. It's great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. I, I was like, what's moving at the corner of my eye? Oh, it's Landy. I could I could look at <laughs> I could look at Landy's Discord profile pic all day. I ain't it's great. Right. It's a, it's a, it's a silly little thing that Red made me. Which you're not. You're definitely not watching this, but I love you. Aww. <laughs> they, have a, nice. they have a matching one with a with flapping uh flapping jaw on their character. He, he he's like a banjo kazooie talking icon. It's great. <laughs> yeah. All right. I don't know. No, I don't really have any roles that I have not been proud of. Usually, if I get the feeling that I'm not going to enjoy a role, I don't take it. But uh... yeah, that's part, not the part only reason figured... I don't take roles, obviously. But oh you yeah, know, it's. 
can be a reason. Yeah. yeah. Part of me figured there wouldn't be many answers. I don't know why I even live with that question, but oh well, good to ask, I suppose. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. sorry about the microphone. Are you okay? Oh, this is adjusting my stand. Are you being about... attacked by the air? Uh, yeah, you can say that. <laughs> how about how about so we don't need anybody dying in the middle of the panel now? Uh, <laughs> right, well, thanks for the question. Um... Yeah, yes. thanks. Anybody there, else? Uh, sorry, sorry, it wasn't as oh, there, there insightful, was, but, you know, always good to ask. There was one project in particular that I wish I could go back and not be a part of. I don't know if I should say the name of it here. Yeah, I mean... Uh, well, I think we know. If, if you know, you know. I get you know, it now. If you, if you know, you know. If you don't know, let's just let it be forgotten forever. I, I, I'm pretty... Sh I'm, I do, but I'm going to keep my mouth shut. Uh, Me too. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Yeah, certain adrenaline dubs. <laughs> Not a fan of that one. Can't stand them. <laughs> oh, yeah, frick those guys. This uh, landy person. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, thanks for thanks for stopping by, Hatmaster. No problem at all. Have a good one, y'all. Absolutely. I'm going to play more Minecraft. Do that. <laughs> nice. Do it. Any Java Bedrock. Anyway. Yeah. Java, yes, we love it. All right. Let's get the next yeah. question. Yeah. Speaking of Minecraft, that's actually not related at all. I just needed a segue. Uh, Gokin's not. Would you mind, you mind that call? <laughs> yeah. I'm, yes, I'm about to start. So, yeah. Um, so, I believe we have like six, but yeah, I'm going to call up Frost Queen Cookie. Come right up. Welcome. Uh, hello. Oh. Howdy. I missed a few few minutes of the panel, but hello. Hello. It's fine. It's all being recorded, and it'll be up on the channel soon. Yeah. We'll all be. right. <laughs> so, uh, my, my question, my question for the my question is like, so um, uh, all right. I hope this one isn't asked. So um. Well, what is is there in is there like is there characters that are very that are very difficult to voice? Act? Uh, Knuckles has gotten to that point, and Ruff and uh, the occasional Scourge voice I do those are pretty tough. Although I'd say Ruff is tougher. I have to sound nastier when I do Ruff <laughs> than when I do Scourge. Scourge, I can take it a little more relaxed. Um, which is funny, if you've heard my Scourge, you would think it's anything but relaxed, but if you compare that to the way I do rough, it's like a take walk. Right. Um, oh. I, I think for me, like, the toughest voice to do is Tails. Um, it used to be a big problem before where my voice would get, like, raw very quickly, voicing Tails, but now it's gotten not as bad, but, um, Definitely screaming at as him is like really hard because I have to really like strain my voice to get that raspiness. Like, you know, I have to be really loud. It just <laughs> that gets that gets <laughs> really raw really quickly. But uh, yeah. Um, All right. Let's see. I already mentioned the uh, Zavok earlier. Um, as far as like characters outside of him, um. I can't really think of any characters that have a hard time with um, outside of Zavok that don't involve, like, like any other characters I can think of are technically ones that I voice outside of Adrenaline Dubs. Oh. Okay. <laughs> um. you what about you, Zach? Yeah. <laughs> I spaced out again, I'm sorry. Uh, well, what's, what's the... What's question? a character that's like the hardest to voice for you? I mean, there's probably only one, and he's not that hard. <laughs> um, so who is it? It's Omega. <laughs> <laughs> only vo for adrenaline dubs, at least I only voice Omega. <laughs> no, it's um, obviously the rat. I'm kidding. <laughs> it's the most difficult thing in hitting. I'm just kidding. Yeah. yeah, it must be. It must be really hard on your voice to get it so filtered like that. Like, how do you do that with your voice? 
<laughs> you see, he took extensive vocal wow. training just to achieve that peak robotic filter. <laughs> Lots of circular breathe. I'm just kidding. No, it's sex a robot in real life. Uh, no, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> the reason why, they, why it's techno cinema. And exactly. Um. Well, thank you very much for the question. Uh, mm -hmm. you're welcome. You're welcome. Thanks for stopping by. You're welcome. Yes, thank indeed. You. you too. Absolutely. Yeah, uh, Josh. I believe we have we can we have more time for one more. So, who do you like to choose this time for the before this panel ends? Uh, yes. Uh, I guess. Ooh, I guess I'm gonna go with uh, Eeny Meeny Miny Mo Catch a Tiger Micah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, look at these people that I don't know. Hello. Hello. Micah. How's it going, person? I'm good. Video. <laughs> that you most certainly do not know. I totally don't know you guys. Adrenaline dubs? Never heard of them. Mm. All right. <laughs> okay, then get out. <laughs> hey, don't worry. <laughs> 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 oh, <God. laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> uh, no, no, it's fine. Uh, the question I got is, out of all the issues that you've had, like, done... Is there something like funny that's happened behind the scenes, like during the production of them? Oh God, my memory is blanking. Somebody else probably. Uh, has the answer. Um, I'm trying to think. That that's that's hard. Mm. I'm trying to remember. Um, Some, something funny that I. I, I guess the best comparison I can make, or best uh, best thing I can put forward, uh, there was um, because when when we were making All or Nothing, I was planned to just voice Gmail for that, and I have the entire I have the entire video recorded, um, and I was just sitting on that for a very long time, and then suddenly I meet a person named Corey Wilder. And I notice his, like, not only is he a pretty good voice actor, but his voice actually sounds kind of similar to um, Paxton's, who was our previous uh, Gmail, who uh, has been busy with his life, so he hasn't been able to attend, uh, he hasn't been able to do a lot of voice work. Um, and uh, I, I heard this guy's voice, and I'm like, oh, I can stop doing Gmail now, again. <laughs> <laughs> My yeah, burden has uh, been lifted. Robin, Corey Wilder. The uh, aha uh, moment. Yeah, I, uh, there's some bits of All or Nothing, specifically like um, when you're hearing like Gene World glitching out. That's still me. That's like me doing like a like a weird like uh, th fed through a bunch of voice filters and stuff to make it sound like a glitch. That's still technically me, but I don't think anybody really cared or noticed, so I I didn't bother to. I didn't want to ask Corey, hey, can you do like, can you recreate these weird noises that I made and then sent through like a billion filters? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> By the way, I'm not paying you to do any of that. Thanks. <laughs> um, anybody else got anything to add? Um, uh, what, what exactly was the question again? The question was if uh, you've encountered anything silly or funny happening during production of the dubs. A bit goofy. Um, um, um me trying way. to open up my water bottle during <laughs> recording so then I can get that last little drip of water. You can hear there's a little bit of it in the adrenaline dubs uh, blooper video. Mm. I'm just I'm like <gasps> I'm so thirsty. <sighs> <laughs> that, that's me struggling to open up my water bottle because I'm just because <laughs> yeah, I'm just so it's thirsty unfortunate. it's unfortunate that we all uh, record in isolation because honestly I think if we all uh, were in like a live recording session there'd be a lot funnier things but I mean yeah. scheduling that is kind of a pain mm -hmm. especially when there's like so many characters and yeah. Yeah. a single issue like, I think that the closest we've ever gone to something like that is when we would occasionally do, like, live readings doing st during streams. Yeah. I think, yeah. I, I think to this day, the only truly live recorded um, issue was issue seven, where Trev and I bounced off of each other for the Neo and Metal Sonic, or Neo Metal Sonic and uh, 
sonic banter and stuff because we felt that that would be important. Which it turned out that I my mic was configured incorrectly when I did that, so I ended up re-recording anyway. But Trev's stuff is like a hundred percent just from uh, during the call. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna assume that's kind of it for everybody's input on this question. Uh, thank you very much. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're welcome. Thank thank you for coming by, Micah. No yeah. problem. I will see you guys again, people that I don't know. All right. <laughs> Absolute. Thank you very much, person we don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like I oh. believe that should be the last of it. Of, uh, this whole time. But yeah, um, I would yep. say thank you. Th- thank you all for... Um, stopping by and asking questions because you know every everyone right here has been doing really well with the on dubbing the whole idw series yes yes indeed yes indeed and of course it was a it was a pleasure to be able to it was a pleasure to be able to um it was a pleasure to be able to host this panel alongside my buddy Gokin over here um uh and of course it was a pleasure to have everybody to to have everybody here um, that was able to be here for the uh, the the panel, Landy, Hyper, Ryan, and Ryan and Tech, all four of y'all legends. Uh, yeah, like I have, been, I have been, I have been, I have been, I have been supporting every one of you throughout every time whenever there is a new issue because I believe you may, you do the best job. And yeah, Landy, this is the first time you're hearing my voice after so long, and it's a in, in at <laughs> last you got I got to say I got I got to you got to hear me and I get to hear you talking. I work with most. Of them. I work with most of these people in completely yeah. different projects. So it's, a, yeah. it's definitely not the first time with me, but uh, yeah. uh, but uh, yeah. Uh, I guess I'll go. Uh, I guess um, we have the next panel after this is in about eight minutes in panel room A. That's the Tangle and Whisper New Roads panel. So y'all make sure to uh, uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, of course. Thank and of course, thank y'all for stopping by. Is there anything y'all want to say before we close this out? Yeah. Uh, Look forward to next year. We got a lot planned. Oh yeah, so. absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> we, we've been a bit. To it. We've been a bit backed up due to uh, some life stuff and some production yeah. issues. Actually, I should probably announce this a little formally. Or formally, um, uh, Gerbil unfortunately uh, suffered a hard drive crash and he lost progress on a bunch of dubs that he was working on. So oh. that's gonna it's gonna take a bit to get back to where we were there. Um, oh no! So really that, that. that's gonna that's gonna stagnate production a little more. Like the, it's like the last thing we needed. Um, but we are uh, <laughs> we're he's working on catching up and getting his uh, he, he's working on uh, getting his dubs. Sorry, I'm blanking really bad setup, in this particular. Right? <laughs> He's working on you and tech. And getting, his, getting his work uh, caught up again, working real hard at it. Um, mm-hmm. So look forward to that. And we got some other just awesome stuff to show you next year. And that's going to be ridiculously fun. I can't wait to show you what we've got in store. So yeah, uh, yeah take care. All right. Thank you all. Thank you, everyone. And yeah, it is actually really hard meeting, hanging around with, with you all. And I'm looking forward to the next few next projects. Absolutely. Absolutely, it was good to see all y'all again. And uh, yeah, if there's any if that's every, if that if that's every if that's all y'all are if that's all y'all had to say, I can go ahead and close it. All right. Mm-hmm. All, all righty. See ya.